Welcome to City Chat on CTV. As the holiday season approaches, we want to spread the holiday message to remind citizens to be alert and prioritize safety. Today we have special guest Sergeant Shante Boxel here with the Columbus Police Department to give us some safety tips. Thank you so much, Sergeant, for joining us. You're welcome. So what are some of the most uh, common threats that happen that people run into during the holiday? Uh, some of the most common threats, of course, are car break-ins. Um, people have a tendency to leave their packages just laying on the back seat or the front seat. Um, so uh, that, that's one thing that everyone should be aware of is to put your packages away. Don't overload your car. You yeah, know, you right. might have to make a couple trips to come back. Um, uh, we also have purse snatchings or pickpocketing, you know, people trying to get wallets. Uh, we, we always suggest that you only take what you need. If you don't need your whole purse, don't take it. Just take a, a small wallet with your credit card or, or um, a limited amount of money in it and keep that in your front pocket. Um, we suggest that for men also. Um, of course, you know, we, we also try to warn people against robberies. That's making sure that you're not the only person out, that, that you take someone with you mm -hmm. um, when you're going out. Um, you, you, you will have incidents where people will, will try to snatch your bag away from you or, you know, a package that you're carrying you know, just snatch and grab, I guess, is what, what we would call it. Um, and, and of course, scams, uh, con artists, you know, claiming to be a part of a charity, but they actually aren't. They're just trying to get your money. Um, people walking up behind you at an ATM, uh, trying to get your passwords. So, and, and it, that all, that happens all the time, but of course it increases around the holidays. Why do you guys see an increase on crimes during the holiday? Uh, because we're all in a hurry. Everyone's in a hurry to get to where they want to go to get that special gift. And sometimes when you're in a hurry, you kind of get a little bit laxed about some of the safety precautions that you would take any other day. But, but now we're in a hurry and there's a large crowd of people and, right. and it just makes it a, a more opportunistic crime. Right. For those of us who are traveling during the holiday, what are some safety tips we can practice on the roads? Um, I, uh, my first uh, thought on, on that was make sure you're well rested. You don't want to start out on the road and you haven't rested and, and you know, gotten a, the proper amount of sleep. Um, you, you always want to travel with someone if possible. Um, most time families are together. Uh, you, you, you have to remember that everyone is trying to get somewhere. And so please be patient. I think that sometimes we lose our patience and that makes us do uh, riskier things on, on the highway that we right. wouldn't do like passing and speeding. Um, never leave your, your uh, vehicle running um, uh, while it's unattended. You know, some people might wanna drop into a rest stop or something. Remember to lock your car, uh, especially if you have packages in them. Um, make sure that they're covered up. Um, uh, if I always take an emergency roadside kit with me, just in case something happens, you run into bad weather. Um, so you, you just want to be cognizant of your surroundings, uh, where you're going. If there's bad weather, pull over. It might take you a little longer to get there, but you'll get there. In order to prevent burglaries um, from our homes, what can we do to protect our properties? Well, one of the things that we've seen lately or, or in recent it, with, with social media is you will have people put on social media, hey, we're gonna travel here for the holidays or we're gonna travel there. Well, you are alerting the burglar that you're not gonna be at home. Right. So only let people who need to know that you're traveling, that you're traveling. Um, I always tell people to talk to your neighbors. If you have a trusted neighbor, let them know that you're gonna be out of town, the dates that you're gonna be out of town, whether you're expecting any um, deliveries or not. Um, let them know that. Um, also, the automatic light switches, um, you can use those. I, I like using them, but have them come on at different times of the day and in different rooms. Don't use the yeah. same room all the time. You know, a burglar is going to pick up on the fact that at 6 o'clock, 
every day that one living room light comes on. So change the rooms around, you know, kind of change it up a bit. It keeps them on their toes. And then make sure that you do alert the paper um, the newspaper deliverer or your mailman that you're going to be gone, especially if it's for a long period of time. So why is it so important to stay alert and practice safety during the holiday? Well, it's important to stay alert and practice safety every single day. <laughs> um, we have a tendency to pay now, now especially, to pay more attention to our cell phones than we do to our surroundings. Um, there are a lot of people out there, unfortunately, who are looking to prey upon you, especially at this time. They know people are carrying extra money and more credit cards. So you wanna, you wanna uh, avoid be becoming a victim by just looking around. Um, when you're walking through a parking lot, know where you park so that when you go back out to your parking spot, you're not wandering around the parking area you know, looking for your car. Make sure that when you park your car, it's well, you're in a well-lit area. Um, mm -hmm. and, and just remember you're in 5B or, or whatever they may have. Um, everyone is a, in a hurry, so make sure that you're being patient. Um, and I think that one of the things that I've seen um, is that pedestrians don't pay enough attention to the traffic. Um, oncoming traffic, sometimes they can't see you. And so don't just step in the street, especially when you're in a shopping mall or an area like Easton. Right. You know, do your due dil diligence and stop, look, make sure that you know where you're going. Um, again, don't carry a lot of packages with you, the, anything that would obstruct your view. Okay. Um, and, and just pay attention, look around, know where you are. That's great, Sergeant. Um, so you were kind of sharing with me before that you uh, worked the, at, at the Easton Mall policing um, just all the busyness that happens there. What's the, what's the biggest um, issue that you run into during this time? Um, well, particularly at Easton, it is people who just step out into the street. I know that Easton is a shopping area, but they do have roadways. And of course, there are park, um, driving signs, you know, uh, traffic signs. I'm sorry, driving signs. Uh, <laughs> there are traffic signs, but never, um, never think that, you know, just take it for granted that the driver is going to stop for you or that they even see you because they're, they're again, they're rushing around just like you are. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that I've seen is, you know, just, Again, you're on your phone. You're you're not aware of who's behind you, where you're going. Um, not paying attention to your purse. If you carry a purse, carry it close to you. Um, carry it on the inside, the side closest to the building, instead of closest to the street, because a purse snatcher is going to try to get toward the street and get away. Um, so make sure that your your any belongings, anything of value that you have. Um, that you're keeping it close to you. That, you know, we suggest that you not wear all of your jewelry when you're going shopping. People look at that. They look at rings and earrings, and, and if you, you know, have expensive jewelry, then they're gonna think that you have um, something on you. And so that's, that's what I see, you know, when I'm out there working. That's amazing. I mean, I, I just didn't expect any of those tips that you shared. I, I thought I had an idea, but all of those are new ideas and they make sense when you say them. And so I'm just so happy that you're able to share that with us. I'm happy I can also. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it prevents someone from becoming a victim. So, yeah. Through all the busyness of the season, remember to prioritize safety and celebrate this holiday season responsibly. Thanks for watching City Chat on CTV.